Hi friends, welcome to Aisha's DIY. Today we will design um, a bracelet with these colorful rounder beads. So this is a N beads uh, collaboration video and you must have already seen the unboxing for the N beads and this is the strand I'm using. I bought one strand and it's very colorful and I wanted to make a bracelet out of it so you can use any kind of beads you have available in your stash and we need some button and then i'm using some cord for macrame you can use 0.4 millimeter cord or 0.5 millimeter cord i'm going to use a 0.65 millimeter cord which is right here this is from my stash and i'm using this cord to do my macrame and i'm going to cut this um strand of beads for myself and I'm gonna go random because this uh, combination of beads is like uh, really random colors and I don't want to be uh, picking colors um, so I will just go randomly with all of these beads so that's what I'm planning to do let me just take all the beads and then pile it over here such a pretty mix i would say and we need a button of course the any knotting cord would work chinese knotting cord or regular seal on everything will work so um, this is going to be a combination of square knots and half inch knots if you are not familiar with macrame square knot and half inch knot you go ahead and watch the video on basic knots in my channel then you'll get an idea and i'm also going to use macrame board that's optional you can tape it to your table or use a clipboard and do this project so I have here three cords it's so long it's uh, it's very difficult to show in the camera you can see how much I have it's about say 18 inches I know it's a long it's it's so long but trust me we will use 80 inches so 80 inches is um, a little bit long but I don't want to be running out of um, cords so i took 80 inches and we are going to fold it into half so i'm just going to run this through my fingers and find the middle of my cord right here approximately the middle okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take um, the three cords and I'm going to use my button. I'm going to put all three cords through my button. Okay. And then basically hold all six of these cords. And then move the button to the middle of the cord. just want to make sure it's in the middle I know it's a long cord to work with but um, we really want it to be the middle so I'm just going to one is very short I don't know why that is I'm just going to take all three cords in my hand, hold it like this properly, and then bring it all the way down. Okay, <laughs> like a genius, I didn't put it in the other end. Okay, now take the three cords again and then put it through the this is not a shank button right so I forgot I was thinking about the shank button I was about to use the shank button first there we go so this is it now I have all six cords here uniformly So I'm going to use the back of the macrame board so that there is no, not much, um, you know, not much to s distract us 
so this is what it is i'm going to take a cord okay i'm going to put this um button like this inside a scrap piece of cord and take this and knot it knot an overhand knot so now i can actually put this inside this macrame board and then i have all my cords like this just like so so now i will separate my cords so all three strands are here so i'll separate the two cords on one side two cords in the middle and two cords to the left i attached the center cord to this side of my macrame board i secured it and now i have this so and also you need some kind of a uh, um thing to raise this so that you can put your hands in between very easily so now i take my left cord and keep it like this i'm going to do a square knot take my right cord go underneath and then bring everything on the side and then knot it so that's my q and this is my p a square knot consists of both q's and p's so these two knots consist of one square knot now two i'm going to do a couple of square knots before i start my beads so it's a long cord to work with but that's two square knots two and a half three three and a half four Four and a half, five, five and a half, and six. seven knots i have uh, done here you can minimize this if you want to but anyways i need some space for the button i think i will wait just in case there we go now i am ready to add the beads so what i am going to do is now i need this uh, tension to be proper and i have some pins here so i'm going to take one pin okay and i'm going to pin it right there just the left first cord after that and leave all the other cords like this so i'm going to separate the two base cords that we were working with with the square knots separate it into two um and then these 
this also like that so i basically separated everything and attached it to the base of my macrame board so now this is here so now i just want this to be right next to my leftmost cord this is in between my left and the next adjacent cord so now i bring this let me just zoom in a little bit more okay so let me just right i think that's good so now i bring this core up here okay there is a reason why i'm holding that up because i don't want this to be down or straight that means it will come like this so i want this to be up here take the next cord that is adjacent to this cord this one right here and i am going to do a half inch knot so you go over and then under and pull through this is a half inch knot it's like a six so what I'm going to do is I am just going to make that knot just like that take the next next the same cord and we will do two knots with each cord okay then leave this in the slot take the next cord and do the same half inch knot this is my holding cord this is my knotting cord over and under pull through and then over and under and pull through secure that cord see how I move these to the sides so that I know sh for sure I have finished knotting that um did i do two knots no i didn't sorry we do two knots with one cord that's how we will secure the half inch knots there we go then i secure that then i take the next cord in the line now this is my holding cord i go over and under just like this and pull through over and under and pull through now that's also done take the next cord in the line do the same over under and pull through over and under and pull through while pulling through see how I'm holding that holding cord up so that my knots come properly so this is also done so i put it on the side and take the lost cord then over and under i'll do it one more time over and under pull through so this is the cord that I need to pull through pull through it completely 
and over and under so with each chord we are doing the knot twice we should remember that and then tighten that up we are done with all the chords as it has moved to the side so now bring the same chord okay take another pin and I'm gonna hold it here just between this this four chords this chord and the holding chord just like that and bring it to this side so now what I'm going to do is do the same I'm gonna hold this at an angle take the first chord okay right next to that chord over under and pull through okay and then go over and under and then pull through so I'm done with this chord so I will secure it on the side that way I will know for sure which chord I am done with or which chord I have to do. So now take the next chord over, under and pull through. When you do pull through, make sure you pull it tightly. Over and under and pull through. Then I secure it on the side. Take the next chord over, under and pull through okay sometimes it might get stuck there we go and pull through again pull through and secure it to the side Take the next chord over, under, and pull through. There we go. Over, under, and pull through. The last chord. Take it over. under and pull through over under and pull through we are done with two lines basically so I secure this cord here so everything is secured now now this is like this so make sure it is proper so I take all of these cords and secure it about the middle. It's in the center and I'm ready to turn this around. Take one more pins right here and then place it right next to that this is the cord we are going to hold always so it goes back and forth right so I put it right next to that and all of these cords now I will bring this side now I will not hold this holding cord anymore like this at an angle rather I will hold it here because I want it to be straight or uh, rather I would want it to be like this at a slanting angle downwards so take the first cord and over under that's the same mantra we are doing over under and sometimes the pulling through part is a little bit tough um, I'm not using Chinese knotting cord this is a polyester waxed cord um, if you probably use a Chinese knotting cord it might be smooth so here we go I just do that and one more time with 
one chord we do the half inch knot twice to complete it otherwise it will not stay so now we are going to come at an angle so this is done so I secure it to the side take the next one again do the same so I want it at an angle because I'm going to add a bead to the last strand so I am just going to add one bead so it needs it need not to be as slanting as this but it needs to be slanting like this okay if that makes sense over under and pull through so this half inch knot is really really awesome once you learn it you can do a lot of um, varieties with this and the thing is um, it's not that hard it might feel you might feel intimidated at the beginning but trust me it gets easier once you try it out watch videos try it out um, be patient at first take a small cord leftover cord that you have in macrame use those cords to learn the stitch and it's an awesome stitch you can do a lot more with this um, in hand so don't dismiss this um, it's a very nice technique and it's easy it is not that difficult uh, once you give it a try it becomes very easy trust me I was also very intimidated by this half inch knots for some years I didn't do half inch knots I would do all the square knots and the lock said knot those and all was easy for me but for some reason I wasn't doing half inch knots for a long time then I realized I wanted to face my fears I realized what is the big deal I need to learn this because the the projects with this knot with these knots are uh, very very pretty and I really wanted to try that so I watched a lot of videos and I tried it out tried whatever I I watched or learned uh, and then I was able to do it see I finished all these four cords and there is only one cord left so in with this cord I'm gonna add a bead so I take this cord, the end of this cord, and then take one bead. I'm hoping that it will go through without any problems. Actually, we can, um, I don't know if I can melt it. Let me see. You can actually put glue and stiffen this. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it anyways. You can also use a needle to do this, but you will have to use the needle quite often because you will be adding beads in different coats this is not working I will be back after gluing this in and drying this and making it like a stick so I added the bead in the last strand right here now I'm going to do the half inch knots so go over under and pull through so make sure the bead sits right next to that and then right and then take this one more time two half inch knots take it and there the bead is captured right there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure these in this area so constantly you will be moving this these cords so that everything is 
nice and even now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna turn this again this side and then do my knots so before doing that I need to pop in a pin right there so these are pins that we use for sewing and stuff this one is a, this one has a very teeny tiny head but you can get the big ones with the big head that's much useful so I stick it in between all of these uh, knotting cords and the holding cords and then I'm going to bring this this side right so I'm going to take the next cord in line see how I'm holding it in a slanting position because I'm going to go come down like this right so take this and over this cord under and pull through just like a six so now I will hold it like that then do one more knotting core knotting one more knot half inch knot that's what I meant now I will secure this take the next one and do the same hold on one sec there we go and okay make sure it doesn't catch hold of all of those uh, pins two half inch knots so we are done with the second cord now the third cord I want to add a bead so as I said I'm going to choose randomly I'm not going to um, you know um, see which one I'm going to do so add a bead okay and move the bead right next to the top row and then with the same cord I'm doing the half inch knot right there we go make sure that bead is up there then you do your knots so I didn't add beads in the first two strands I added it in the middle strand right and then the next strand I take it I'm not adding a bead here but I'm just doing a half inch knot one and two half inch knots two there we go secured it I have the last cord there to do my half inch knots here I will add two beads so that we will have a zigzag pattern like this so I take this cord out of my holding position take my beads and then drop in two beads doesn't matter which one it is go for it it's a beautiful mix right and then now push it all the way up towards our knots and then this is our holding cord and the beads where the beads are our knotting cord so just knot with that two half inch knots see that that's in place now I will take this down here okay this side and then I will continue with like same 
triangle like this I will continue the first chord I will do half inch knots to half inch second I will do to half inch third I will add one bead and then to to half inch fourth I will add two half inch and the fifth I will add two beads so the zigzag pattern I will work some and then come back so I have been doing the macrame down here couple of things I want to mention is so in this half inch knot so when you push the bead here to the center which is right here and then the way you hold the holding knot determines how the how well the stitches come so I want it in an angle right I'm doing zigzag manner or V pattern so I am instead of holding up I'm holding it like this you can also hold it straight or you can hold it a little bit down just like so and then do your half inch knots it determines how well your knot comes and then don't slag this holding knot holding cord just um, change your knotting cord but I mean you can slag how much ever you want with the knotting cord but if you hold the holding cord straight as well the stitch comes out perfectly and also right and the last one and take it so also you can string the beads and make a knot at the end just like this so that you don't have to add beads every time you come to at this point and you will have to add beads you don't have to do that if you do that I did it about say a couple of beads and then I added some later when I needed and then knotted just did a sliding knot at the end so that the beads doesn't come off that is this knot see I have used all the knot, all the beads and I take it off it comes just go over your fingers and then take this there is a knot but this one slides see this if I pull it off it goes away so I have I have did I think enough portion now I'm going to conclude the bracelet what I'm going to do here is um, let me just put everything in place everything has moved a bit so there we go everything is in its place now five cords in this cord I'm gonna take this and come back here this time I will I want a straight line or the one that we did first that's the one I want to mimic I take a pin I hold it right there this is important to hold the pin then only you will get an angle or a straight V otherwise it will be a little bit deformed so that's important so I take this instead of holding it an angle down I hold it up so that mine goes up the stitches go up or straight probably and that's half a half inch knot half one half inch knot and then you do two half inch knots to complete it right to make it in place and then you leave that down here take the next one and do, th do the same again two half inch knots this time I want to hold it right there see how I take my holding cord up then instead of coming down my thing will go up and take the next two half inch knots for each cord so we are knotting only with the five cords as you guys know and it's important that you put that in slot that way it will not come off take it
This is a very dainty bracelet, even though it looks like um, thick, but it's very soft and flexible on your wrist. Finally, the final cord. If you are buying a macrame cord, please do buy the small one. That's just my opinion. I think I just thought I would I would benefit by a bigger mm, mat. So it was there was not much of a price difference. I got this from Amazon. I'm not affiliated or anything. I don't get paid to recommend this product or something. But I got this from Amazon. And the thing is, um, the bigger one also costed the same uh, compared to the travel size. So I thought, why not get uh, more bang for my buck? and I got the bigger one instead of this travel size one but I think the travel size one would have been easier for me to do it I think it's just my opinion you guys so I am doing these last two rows without any beads just like how we did it in the first but we have to one thing i forgot i need to take everything off i need to add a bead here see this we have added a bead right here which i forgot so i'll just take this off and come back okay so i removed it and now i need to add it to this last cord actually i had one bead i removed it off but that's okay. Can add it right now. And then this is our holding cord. And take this and then do that. put up in there and bring it down here so this line and the following line I will do without beads and as I said I will take my cord and hold it upwards so that this goes straight rather than coming down that's one like that I will do this zigzag pattern then I will come back I don't have any beads so it's just going to be the cord one and two right so I thought I'll show you guys once again that's um, and I'm gonna do one more that's one I think that's about it I guess right yep that's it so now what we do is we separate these cords uh, yes this, these are the center two cords these are the right and these are the left so I'm going to again do our square knots so I'm gonna do my Q's and P's so I will just move this a little bit ahead so that you guys can see I'm going to secure maybe I'll take all of these off these pins off and probably move mine a little bit ahead so that I have enough space right here I have enough cords trust me I took a little bit more but it's always better to have more than less in macrame we can always use the short cords for some other purposes so here we go so take these cords and let me just get a razor for mine so I can put my hands through freely there we go 
so that is one square knot I mean half a square knot and this is another half I'm going to continue doing this at least for an inch and then we will make a space for our button to go through then finish it off So I'm doing my square knots. I will do for an inch and come back. I put all of these cords on the side and I'm taking these ones and then I'm doing the square knots. Just a nice touch. You can just leave it like that but I really like this to have some substance. Uh, I mean you can just have the two cords come on either side and not at the end and then not right here and leave some space and not again so that your button can go into that loop but this is also a pattern that you can do since we have so many so much of the cord left I don't want to cut it down This is a very nice dainty bracelet and this multicolor beads from nbeads.com. This is just one strand and I, I didn't even use the full strand yet. I have a lot more beads left over. And I thought this multi strand at random, this color combo is best to use in this type of bracelet. So we need to figure this out. Um, I think this should be good enough. So I just leave this right here and then take this end, leave it, sorry, leave it on the side and take these three cords, make the center cord sit. tight right there start doing our macrame knots for this side then I'll come back once I'm done with this I'll show you guys how to finish the top now I have finished macrame the number of knots depends upon your button size so I just hold everything together and check one more time whether my button goes through see this it is barely making it so I think it should be fine I don't want it to be a whole lot bigger because this is a bracelet and you want it to be snug otherwise it will come off so now what you do is again separate your cords take these two cords and 
hold it as a base code let me just put a pin here okay and then take these two quotes on the left and two quotes on the right and let's do our macrame again with all the six quotes okay now again you can try here button once more i think it will go off comfortably so i'm not worried about that there we go not a lot just two square nodes that's enough now take this code off this much beads is left from one strand so as you can see this is how our bracelet will look there we go so these three cords you can actually leave all these three cords just like that um, or can take everything together and make a big overhand knot overhand knot is nothing but a regular knot just make sure it comes right next to this and then just pull it individually one by one making sure your knot is nice and secure last one there see this much cord is left so i'm just going to cut it right here you can leave it like this it will look really nice or you can add some beads and make a knot that will also look nice but for me i'm thinking I should not have cut it short not much space to knot but still I can do it I think <laughs> I, I just thought I will not add any beads to this No, that's not enough cord. But you can do actually that. Let me just grab my I'm just cinching my ends because i don't want this to fray and come off now that i have melted the ends it will not come off and as you can see that looks really nice right i love this bracelet i hope you guys like it too if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification I do upload videos almost every day except for Sunday. Thanks so much for watching my channel. And uh, if you like, if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. That really helps to grow my channel. See, as you can see, even though it's like a little bit uh, of a cuff, but it is very dainty. It's very soft and it's very uh, smooth to wear. It's very, very pretty. I really love how the bracelet has turned out to be. 
I hope you guys like it too. I will leave down in the description box below the link to purchase this uh, strand of multi color strand of roundel beads that I bought from nbeads.com. I will leave down in the description box below where you can get this stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.